Let's get it. Come on, I'm right here. <laughs> what? I ain't getting wet. The wife want to put her feet in the water. Ain't no way in the world I'm putting my feet in that dirty water. I should be getting in the picture, huh? It's an absolutely lovely day here in the Carolinas. Right now we're at Myrtle Beach. My wife so loves the beach. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here in the Carolinas and I'm so glad to see it as always. Today we're here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. My wife and I decided to take a day out and just relax and take a day ride down to the beach. That's what she wanted so we decided to come on down. And I did want to share a thought today and it's cold. And I think it's quite, it's not a coincidence that we're down here to, to the beach. Well, the thought is the American dream, is it really yours? The American dream, is it really yours? And if we are truly, brutally honest with ourselves, what can the American dream really offer us folks? The true Hebrews, the Most High's chosen people. On the most part, everything it stands for is in direct opposition to who and what we stand for, which is in the Torah. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 says it clearly and plain, for you are a holy people who belong to the Most High, your Elohim. Of all the people on earth, the Most High, your Elohim, has chosen you to be his own special treasure. And we also see in Romans 12 and 2, that the word says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is the, that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And Jeremiah 23 and 24 says, Can anyone hide from me in a secret place? Am I not everywhere in all the heavens and earth, says the Most High? And 1 Peter 2, 7 through 12 says, Now to 
you who believe this stone is precious but to those who do not believe this the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them fall they stumble because they disobey the message which that rock is the word the most high sacrifice Yahushua HaMashiach they stumble because they disobey the message which is also what they were destined for but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation the Most High's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of the Most High. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and exiles, and this is speaking to us, to abstain from sinful desires which wage war against your soul. Live such lives among the, the pagans that though they accuse you of doing wrong, they may see your good deeds and glorify the Most High on the day he visits us. And we are called to be separate, even in our land of captivity even in the land of the so-called free we're called to be separate and different we're called to be holy as the text says which means set apart for the master's use and most people would say it don't take all that you don't have to do all that but it takes that and more And some may say I'm wrong, but what if I'm right and you are not? I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose for my investing my faith in what I believe. However, will your investment save you if you are wrong? What if you invest everything into this dream presented to you by the same system which has lied year after year? The text says the fool has said in his heart there is no Elohim. It also says, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And that's Hebrews 11 and 6. And see it takes sacrifice and see that's what that American dream fights against see that American dream is selfish it's all about you 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 and really it's not for us Hebrews anyway it's like a mirage in the desert that keeps moving every time you get closer it moves again But I would say that this American dream is not for us, us folks, us Hebrews, our nation. It's actually for who it was designed for. And it was not us. It's like every nationality of people can come over, jump right on the bandwagon and get a piece of the pie. But not us folks, no. It's like when it's time for our peace, we get our hands burnt. Well, like I say, the, the, the mirage is moved, has moved. And a lot of us, that's a good analogy, a lot of us are too thirsty. We're thirsty for this world's water. And when you do get a sip, it's poison. It's the Kool-Aid that's poison. But it's really high time for us to really pay attention to what's going on. 
is the American dream yours? Or do you dream the dreams and have the thoughts after the Most High has them for you? See, that's the dream we need to be concentrated on. Them thoughts that the Most High has for us. Plans to do us good. And by the way, fam, today we're not working out at all. We're going to really take this time to rest and relax and to enjoy each other and let our bodies rest for a few days, well, a day or so. We'll come back at it. Most high willing, strong on Monday and really get in our workout. Hopefully getting our full workout back in, getting on that bike, or first getting that walk in, then them squats, and then getting on that bike and finishing strong for Monday. But we'll see how the Most High leads and how He re regenerates our body over this weekend. But as I was saying in the beginning of my recording, I do encourage us to, like yesterday's thought, enjoy the journey. Get out and enjoy the journey. Enjoy your wife, your husband, your children, your grandkids, your parents, your siblings, aunts, cousins, whoever, uncles, whoever the Most High has blessed you with as family, reach out and, and stay in touch with them and enjoy them, enjoy their company because they are a gift. And the text does say, he that finds a wife finds a good thing. And I believe that's in every area of our lives. Not as good as the wife. <laughs> oh boy. Or the husband. But it's up to us to enjoy the gifts the Most High gives us. And that's this life period. And also the purpose he gives us with this life. And that goes right back to our thought for today. Is the American dream yours? Oh boy. And the most high reminded me of that thought that we made or that he gave me in the beginning about we being here in Myrtle Beach and with this thought for today, the American dream, is it yours? And most of us down here right now today are on vacation. And most of us are spending maybe a week or two at the most vacationing from a job that we spend 20 to 30 years on and only get a week or two out of the year to take a break from it. But then we go right back to this job that we're working for people that we don't know, a large corporation, most of us. And we work for them, like I said, 20 to 30 years, and then go on to retire with maybe five years, 10 at the most to really enjoy yourself. But like I was telling my wife, by the time you get out to enjoy it, you're too tired. You don't feel like really getting out and, enjoy, and enjoying your, your life after you done gave it all to other folks. And see, this is part of the American dream that I'm talking about. But most of it is that selfishness we was talking about, where it's all about yourself and not the most high. See, the American dream is all about you. What do you want? How do you want to get it? And how soon do you want it? If you work hard, put your nose down, you can get it. It's not going to say that you're going to get it the honest way or righteously. You see, that's important. I 
I just had to come back and share that because it was on my heart. Seeing people, and this is a vacation town, and people look ran down. And I guess that's everywhere you go these days anyway, with this COVID scare out here. No one's happy. I haven't seen a person yet smiling and enjoying themselves. Well, we did on the beach. Let me stop lying. I saw some kids smiling and laughing. But no one's really happy. I imagine because in the back of their mind, they're thinking about going back to work. <laughs> For that joker, they ain't paying them what they're worth. And by the time they get back home, spend a couple of days relaxing, then it's time to go get it again. Go back to sacrificing for this joker that don't know you and care about you. And as I was just sitting here waiting on my wife to do her little shopping, or to do her shopping, I gotta quit saying that little thing. That's where we get in a lot of trouble talking about other folks using that word little. But yeah, I was just thinking about that script we mentioned and it was um, Jeremiah 29 and 11 where the Most High gives us the dream we should be concentrating on. And like I said in our thought for today, that dream is his plans for us. And all we have to do is get in line with him, ask him what plans does he have for our lives. He made us. He made us with a purpose and intently, or on purpose, with an intent in his heart for us to walk that plan out. So it's up to us to seek his face. It's up to us to seek his face and his will and his plan for our lives. This little old lady done left a cart that was rolling towards our car. And thank the most high it stopped. I was blowing at her. But she had done turned her back on it and started rolling towards our car. But anywho, he said his plans are for good, for a future, for hope. Not to harm us, but to do what's good. And I think the question is that we should be asking ourselves and keep in the back of our minds, is this American dream really for me? Is this American dream the plan that the Most High has for my life? And I can emphatically say, no, it's not. But that's going to be my time. I pray everyone enjoy their day. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.